yes guys welcome back to my channel this evening i'm gonna be cooking something real easy for you guys yes something real easy all right now can we go to jamaica this evening okay so this evening i'm gonna cook some dumpling and banana and red herring see this is my green banana hot pepper i got an onion a tomato and a sweet pepper aka bell pepper over here is my flour and a little cornmeal in it and here so is my red herring in a water soak because red herring kind of salt you know what i mean so you want to soak out the excess salt the out of it yeah man because you know high blood pressure and one normal thing so you don't want that so you soak out the excess salt out of it this now I'm a cornmeal. So I'll put a little bit more cornmeal in it because I never put enough in it. So I'll put a little bit more in it. Yeah man, just, just a little dash. How much? Yeah man, so over here so I'm a pot with my water. It's already a boil up, so I just turn it down. Turn down already. So yes. Yes guys, so I wash my hand. I wash my hand and come back to you guys you know what I mean so I'm kind of shift them out of the way a little bit yeah so I have some salt in this like a teaspoon so I just have a little salt double little salt in it yes, I don't even think I use the whole teaspoon yes guys, so I go knead up my flour now I want to catch that style I want to catch that style so this is cold water straight from the top ok but I use some ice water in it you know. cold water, you know, for use alright guys, so Go in with the hand, yeah. Mix up everything your cornmeal and your flour and your salt. Mix up everything, guys. Yeah, so we are going with the water now. Go one side, yes, guys. You're going with your hand and knead up your flour, guys. This is very inexpensive, okay based on how oh, food prices I got through the roof these days yeah this is a good meal to resort to this is called eating on a budget yes guys once you eat like this and it's also healthy you know what I mean the only thing with starch in this right now is like the flour with excess I would say with excess starch banana have little starch but not much you know what I mean so that I go on, pan water go on, guys. Yeah, we are going again with some more water. You throw your water momentary, you don't want to throw everything one time because your flour will spoil. Your flour will spoil. And when your flour spoil, you don't have that dough there where you want to make the dumpling them. Then, so you have to throw your water momentarily so so you mix you mix again you add more water all right then you make sure you throw the water into the center of the bowl and then you combine more dry ingredients to water so it's just like when you mix cement yes guys you put dry ingredients which part the water there and that gives the consistency there what y'all look for yes guys sorry for my people them who don't know the language yeah? and who don't understand it but I feel like this evening a straight Jamaican must talk yeah people in the comment section I said to me say, boy warm to your language I want to hear so this evening I feel like I eat 
I use this evening because I want to get Jamaican meal. So I want to get Jamaican language to go with it. The good old patois, guys. I have to embrace my language, I love it. Yes, so all of my people in front yard who eat them food there. Yeah. Yes, even if you migrate and you remember them meal yeah. Boss a thumbs up in the comment section, guys. Yeah, man, and make me know with a meat kind like this. How much dumpling you can knock with it? Then come, you know, even some of the women, them, you know, them love them flour dumpling, you know. Yeah, man, you have some women, man, them love, love them dumpling, man. Some of the wanga got man, them too. Love eater on five, six flour. See, and so, just tell me, guys, yes, I want to reach a stage, you know, when they do me, you can now, you have to apply. A little bit more pressure to the door, you know what I mean? You get everything. So you have to put in the strength. Call the spot, yeah? Call for strength. So if you have some weak wrist, guys, you can. You know, I'm a soft, soft dumpling and you eat and I see up your teeth. No, sir. Some people are dumpling with spoon. No, sir. Now come around here with that. We are going to the real, real yard man dumpling. That you know I get, guys. Yes, guys, so right now, see consistency there. You see it? Yeah, that we are looking for, and that we get. That we set out for, and that we get. You see our ball clean? You have some people in the make flour. Ball dirty. Flour the all board. When me make dumpling, man, you know, if you wash back the bowl, the bowl clean like you never use. So, that we are look for, guys. Yeah, man, so, right now, flour done. Yes, flour done. Done, make. So, right now, you make the dumpling, them now. Let me see how much dumpling we can get out of this. See, you kind of. Use your honor, like stretch it apart like this. Yes, guys. So, we go so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the one they make eight. Yeah, man. So, this is how we make it. Alright, now put back that. Now I'll show you real. All the thing go now. So you take it up, place it in your hand like this, like that, squeeze them up together. Then you apply this on here, and you just do like this, do a thing like this. Professionally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Turn it around now clockwise, you know what I mean? Yeah. This take art, guys. This is art right here. You know what I mean? Press him in. Yeah, as I tell you, say, I want to over your saw boy a long time. So I apply them to the water. Then I apply them to the water, guys. Then, so, drip off the water off my pot cover. Yeah, we're not delay. Jack them in my pot, same time. We're not build them and put them down. Because we build them fast, you know. Build them fast. Can't wheel them, you know. Build them fast. Yes, guys. Have a man like me or your horse, you know, man. I tell you, say, my wife happy. She do eat dumplings still, but when you have a man in your house, you can cook, you know, ladies. You can't get you hungry, you know. Yeah, man, your man, if you can dash it down in your kitchen, man. Your man fi can dash it down in the kitchen. See? Yeah, man. Ladies, 
Don't bother commenting in the comment section, say. Because guess what? I don't have the ring for my finger, but I'm already taken, okay? So, you have to get one next Jamaican, man. That one is gone. That one is come off the shelf. Ladies, <laughs> you hear them, ladies, right? <laughs> yes, the camera person here. Yeah, yeah she tells tell us that, yo. Don't put it in the application. Because <laughs> the gen come out right on the shelf again and come off. Yes, guys, so. Alright. Dumpling that gun in a pot. Guys, so right now. Use my fork. And like unsickle them. You know what I mean? You don't want them sickle. Because if them sickle, they must stick. So you don't want that. So you unsickle them. Yes, guys. So. Jump on the banana now. Cover him up. Half cover him, because you don't want him to boil over. If him boil over, I'm going to mess up the stove. Yes, sir. Yeah. Half cover him. Alright. Wash up, put my onion out. I move to the banana real quick. Then tap him out. Yes, guys, so. Reach the part, you know. I just put some grease on my, on my hand. Yes, the grease. After you know, have no help of stain for you and after you finish. And for the stain come off easily when you don't peel the banana. So alright guys. We have to peel the banana then and now. And if you notice me have them in the water. Yeah. That have to control the stain too. Yes guys, so you mark them, run the knife down the side. Yeah. And them come right out of the, the ox. You see how them come out easy? Yes, guys. As I said, we now add them back to the water. We are straight to the pot. Straight to the pot, guys. Yeah, man. Straight to the pot. Yes, guys. This is a tasty. When I say tasty, and as I said, we cook into today on a budget. Poor people food. See? In? Poor people food and healthy food. Oh man, if you cook them food, I give you money, no man. Your man back trunk. Cause you know what I like? Flimsy, flimsy man, not true. Yeah, man. Banana, rich in iron. So when him eat up him green banana, yeah, him thing turn up, him thing get loud. Yes, guys, so you have to feed the man good. Yep. When the thing you put in, and that you get out, you have to feed the man. Take care of your man. Because good man hard to find in these times. See? Good man hard to find. So because good man hard to find, take care of the good one then when you find them. Yes guys, so don't peel my banana now. Don't peel my banana. So I have a next little trick. One more and show. Now cut off a piece of the banana skin, put in the pot. And that have finna make your banana them black. Yes, so guys, that's it for the food pot. Okay, so when we come back, we are going on the red herring side of the dinner. All right, stay tuned. So, we back. Yes, guys, so we did start, we start cut up the, the, um, the vegetable. Limb. Yeah. I tell you this, you know, guys. I don't really have the knife skills, you know. Like, come see some people are cutting out close to them finger with speed. No, I don't do that. So, guess what happened? I take my little time and cut up my vegetable. I see them cut. Any cut, if you cut them fast and cut them slow, see them cut. 
Yes, guys. So I'm going to my fridge and find them color pepper here in there. I egg. I don't want to egg guys in my fridge. So I take them out. And we are add them to the mix. Yes, guys, we are add them to the mix. No eyeglass to my fridge. Yeah, man. So, you know, say, them bell pepper, you know, them all give off a different flavor. Each one of them have their own flavor. So, that makes the spice even madder. Yes, so. Yeah, what? Me I cook for me and Zoe. So guess what? No, 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 pepper. Yeah, two we love pepper, so the whole of this are going at it. Who wants to say we're mad? Say we're mad. We're not afraid for pepper. Yeah. So I go no seed in one and seed out of one. Seed in one side, seed out of one side. Yeah. That over this one. Yes, guys, so. Alright. Yeah, man. Right, that's right there. Alright. Boss with onion. Boss up with onion. And after we boss with onion, we are going to put it in our pot, yeah. Put it in the pot, yeah. With some red caramel dumping well hot, yeah. Them the chunk food they going our way back, yeah. Yes, guys, so wash off with onion. Yeah man. Wanna go over here so get some more space for the onion. I'm not going to use all that onion because I don't want to like onion. So I'm not putting a whole heap of onion in it. That is enough. So I don't want to like onion. So, that's adapted for the onion. Alright. Put me out to the wash already. But I'm make sure the only thing I wash the onion. But I'm make sure I wash it again. Because. I don't want to feel like say Monday I cook a dirty pot food. Yes. Ask me as a guys, we can't come on the channel every day and come talk proper English. Because if we talk proper English, we don't know how can catch a dialect. We don't know how get a chance to catch it. Not sure. And I know say enough of my subscribers them won't catch a dialect. I'm going to and catch it. And if I come here every day, I come, ah, no, 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 no. Proper English sitting, I'm going to catch it. So, guess what? I mix it up, Bono. Some day, I'm going to get. I'm going to understand and I'm going to know. And when next day, I'm going to get the real born Jamaican patwa. Alright, guys, so. That are that for the vegetable. Okay? So we have to scoot it over this a little bit. Rest my knife on the side. Come on, knife. Alright, we are going towards the red herring now. Then, so we are chew off the water for the red herring. Because I soak the water about. I soak it about three times. This is about the third water I chew off it. Because I said, we want to get it real. Every salt out of it won't get up like about 85% of the salt out of it, if not 90. We don't want the salt because free the hypertension. Okay? Yeah. So guess what? I'll we'll throw it off. Yeah, man. So. If you notice, you left some um, like grease around the edge. Yeah, so that means uh, fish did have been some grease in him. Yeah. So we are got you. And we don't pick out all of the bone them still. We'll just pick out some of them. Zane, what kind of ready to do some bone? 
Hmm? What kind of red herring without some bone, guys? Yeah, man, and them a bone and a hurt nobody. Anybody say red herring bone ever top of them throat and cause discomfort and sit in a lie, them a tell. Red herring bone not hurt nobody. If you eat red herring and bone top of your throat, just buy some piece of dumpling and cut it up about four times and swallow it. Clear the blockage. Then, a piece of avian, a cup of bone, so we are jaw out there, one here. We are jaw out there, one here, guys, because that one here have been whole heap of bone. Yeah, man, that one here have been whole heap of bone, but we are go back in him again. Yeah, man, the banana, them over there, sir. A boil up on the dumpling, them a boil up. And sitting. Yes, guys. So, I don't tell no sign, man. The food there, man. The food there, mad. When me a boy and my mother cook this, I tell us every minute. I go back for more. To me. To my subscribers, them out there who don't understand the word Wappy, Jamaica will call Wappy when I go back to more. See? So, I teach you a new word as we go along. You see it? Yeah, man, so Wappy. So, guys, if wife cook food, or husband cook food, or mommy cook food, and you go back, Say, mommy me a wappy, or daddy me a wappy, wifey me a wappy. Mommy say, what the heck that is? I need more. It's good. Yes, guys, so we we'll break them down into smaller pieces. Smaller pieces, guys. Breaking them down smaller pieces. And guys, if you if you don't know about red herring and you understand about it, let me teach you about it. See red herring and you cook red herring and eat red herring. You have to clean up yourself properly before you go up on the road because red herring carry a very high odor. Not stink, as in yeah, but carry a high odor. So you have to wash up yourself real good. Before you go up on the road, because people will smell it on you and know, say, Yeah, you just eat red herring. Alright? Yes, guys. So, when we come back, it's going to be time now for we get the vegetable them sauteed and put the red herring in it and cook it down nice and match up the thing real proper and start the festivity me and Zoe alright guys so when we come back yes guys so then up on top now them fraught yeah skin them skim them off you don't really want them up on your food them are bad for your food yes so me skim off them there yeah man, make them there. Take off them there. Anyway, see them a large. Get rid of them there. Yes, guys. Get rid of them there. Get rid of them there, guys. Yeah man. So. See them there, guys. But well, cook up and nice. Right now, I'm rich. I'm reaching destination already, you know, but I just give him a couple more minutes. Yeah. Him that immigration, right? That's him that immigration. Immigration, him them. Just come off of the plane and him that immigration, right? That's him. Yeah. Flight land, but him a clear. Him a clear himself. So give me about. Give me, give me, give me a couple minutes. And when we come back, we are going straight in right now with the saute and the vegetables as I said and the red herring and everything. The whole mat stuff are going to go on right there. Sir. And the combination of the mat stuff. Go on and watch me people. 
All right, guys, welcome back. So, right now, this cook. So, I'm going to turn off this right now. That done. Right, that's the when the right, that's the same done. All right. So, we are coming over here. So, now, over here, so I have me. My pot ready. For me. For my vegetable. Okay. Ready, so I go um I dry out some water on my seen him. Alright. So now I pour some grease in him. Alright, but yeah. Bow oh, one nice. Bow oh, one four teaspoon. Tablespoon, my bad. One four tablespoon. Or not more than that. Don't know too much grease, no good. Yes, guys, so. When grease get hot. Yeah, we'll come back and deal with the thing like how the thing to deal with. So, yeah, game time for hot, you know. Game time for hot. But you come like you want to trick me like it at already. I mean, no, you're not at it. Come and just put it down. Yes, guys. So. Yes, guys. So. Now we're going to add um, our vegetables. Yes, so. I am hot. Yes, guys. I am real hot. Yes, guys. Yeah, man, just spin them around a couple times. Yeah, man. Turn them down. Low flame. Low flame. Yes, yeah, so we're going to add some, some time to it. Yeah, just break them up. Yeah. Make your food tasty, man. I'm afraid to make your food tasty. Add all the relevant ingredients in your pot to make it tasty. Look at the different colors, them guy. Look at the different colors, them. Yes, sir. A little oil. Did flash earlier. Clean up. Clean as we go. Yeah. I'm not working in a messy kitchen here. In a messy kitchen. Yes, guys. So. The oil kind of calm down now. Oil kind of calm down, so. Yes, guys. Woo! You know what? Uh, smell this, guys. Smell good. You ready to go in it yet? The time I kick off a piece of flavor there in it. Now, normal. I have some minced garlic. I put in it too. But guess what? I never put it in there earlier because I don't want it burn. So I add the garlic to it, you know. And I tell you, say, it have a shot. Yes, guys, I love garlic, you know. I love my garlic, so. I add about a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic to it. Yeah man, I love my garlic man. Yes guys, so spin him around in him.
Guys, I just want you to see the colors and the thing, how the thing pretty. I don't know about me, you know, but me eat with my eyes. You know what I mean? If my food no colorful, I don't like something I don't want it. Yeah, man. I don't want my vegetable to, to cook. Yeah, I love when my sweet pepper and thing them kind of have a crunch to them. Yes, I'm going now with me. My red herring. Going with my red herring. Yes, guys. Well drained and thing. Yeah, man. So, at the red herring now. All this want now, guys, to eat. A black pepper. Color me gonna need a little bit more grease to the pot. Cause being as a dumpling we are gonna eat and banana. You want a little grease to the thing. You want a little grease to the thing guys. Yeah man. Guys if you like all this look, give me give me give me give, give me a comment. Drop a comment in the comment section man. I know this look good. This pretty like Sunday morning man. Like Sunday morning this pretty man. Yeah man, colorful, very colorful. Yes, yeah, so we are going now with some some black pepper. Oh, all right, find the black pepper. One, one now. One knock to find the black pepper, guys. Yeah, man. I'm afraid to season your food when you are cooked, guys. I'm afraid. If you want your food to taste good, you have to season it. So, a meal like this, you don't require no season salt and all them extra things. You know what I mean? Just your black pepper and your gun because. To me, it can happen Father God to make fish, it can like him already season them and send them to the water. Yes, guys, alright, that's all. This basically done, you know. Done, 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 done. This done. It's ready for eat, guys. With your dumpling and your banana. The only thing the pot missing a piece of yellow yam. A piece of soft, soft. Afu yam. Yes, guys. So that and that. That done. So come back and catch me with the plating. And that I go mad. Yes, guys. So this is the finished product. Yes, play it up on well nice. Ready to eat. So guys, as I said, this is a very economical meal. You know what I mean? For the family. So when you look on budget and you want to eat on a budget, drop it something like this. Yeah man, real fast. Man, a meal like this can done in less than an hour time. Less than an hour, guys. So just comment in the description, in the comment section. Yes, guys, so right now, I can't wait for the game. My mouth around water. My mouth around water for this. Trust me. Trust me, guys. My mouth around water for this. Zane, you see the color of them in the plate. And oh, everything just look nice and beautiful. Yes, guys. As I said, jump on this. I want to see how I do everything, so I hope I get it. Zane, and if you don't get it, just comment and tell me, say, yo, Roma, Roman boss, just let me know how that do again. I will share it to you guys. Zane, and who catch it, do it and tell me how it turn out. You know what I mean? 
Yes, so with all that being said, guys, my motor around water has been set. Me I jump right there, this. So guess what? Catch you on my next vlog. So guys, like, share, and subscribe. Yes, guys, so we're out.